Boys and girls, gather around for it is story time. Today, Peter will tell you the legendary legend of a legendary man who is as legendary as I say, but is little known and underappreciated. Men, this is the man we aspire to be, along with Jesus. Ladies, this is the man you imagine when you imagine your ideal manly man. He's the whole package. He's tall, specifically six foot seven inches. Attractive, beard, Danish, peg leg. This man has it all. His name? Peter Freuken. Legend says that Peter Freuken was an Arctic explorer, having traveled the bitter Arctic a grand total of several times, and <laughs> traveled by dog sled 7,000 miles once. Legend says that he, having discovered the Inuit culture on his Arctic expeditions, Hunt, lived, hunted, and traveled with them for over two generations. Legend says that this man, this legend of a man, wrote 30 books, became the head of a film company, won an Oscar for a movie he wrote and played the villain in, fought the Nazis as part of the Danish resistance in Germany, and, while being imprisoned by them, escaped to Sweden before they could end his legendary life. Now, the most famous of his many legends, comes from one of his Arctic expeditions. Once, as he was traveling by dog sled through the bitter ice of the Arctic, he decided to wait out a terrible storm in a snowbank. However, in the snowbank, a tomb of ice and snow began to form around our hero and his sled. For hours, he struggled to claw his way out with only his bare, mighty six foot seven hands and a frozen bear skin sacrificing much of his beautiful beard in the process as it froze to the ice. <sighs> Eventually, our hero gave up and lost all hope, for he made no progress. He succumbed to the thought of a frozen death. For hours and hours and hours passed by as he awaited the end of his legendary life. But as he waited, his will, as well as his strength, returned to him, and he had a new idea. He had noticed that while he was sledding, the tongue of the sled dogs would freeze as solid as a rock to the sled tracks. And so there the mighty six foot seven man lay, thinking, awaiting death, what if I freeze mine? And so, Peter Freuken, Peter Freuken, the Oscar winner, reached behind himself, <laughs> reached behind himself, and strained and pushed into his pushed into his hand what he could. With this precious resource, he, with expert manliness, forged a powerful chisel with which after it was after with which after it, after it would freeze, he would use to cut his way out of the ice. He waited patiently for it to freeze, that he might not break it before it was totally frozen. So, once it froze, he cut and chipped his way out of the ice and eventually freed himself. Having been trapped in the ice for over 30 hours, he crawled for another three back to his camp, crawling because his feet had been frostbitten, and at the camp, amputated his own dead flesh and replaced it with a peg leg, all presumably without anesthetics, uh, and that is the legend of Peter Freuken. Writer, Arctic explorer, Oscar winner, Nazi fighter, and wielder of homemade chisels. <laughs> Thank you.